folks in the house, how's everybody doing? Um, said I was going to do a, a serious talk uh, about suicide and uh, drug uh, uh, going on in the country. And so that's what the video is going to be. I don't do too many of these, um, but it's been a while, so I thought, why not? Um, I don't know. It seems like the topic just comes around every once in a while, so... Keep it alive a little bit amongst the few people that watch my videos. Um, but before I get into that, I'll tell somewhat of a hilarious story. Um, yesterday I was over by my folks grilling. Uh, not a bad day to do it. So I was like, yeah, the heck, let's go ahead and go for it. And uh, I'm going into the house. My mom goes, hey, you have a tear by your pocket on your shorts. And I was like, okay. So I go, you know feel the pocket and I'm like, no tear there. Ends up the seam next to the pocket tore. That long. And the thing is I was in the grocery store shopping with that. And I was like, okay, that would be entertaining. So I was like, hey, what the hell, what can you do? Uh, <laughs> so that was my uh, kind of a uh, crazy story. And then uh, shopping wise, um, Again, a couple things. Um, something that uh, I just came across, I never had it, so I was like uh, the other day, uh, Stouffer's has a bowl full fried chicken and mashed potatoes. This ain't bad. Um, I think it's about $4 if I remember right. Uh, for me, I mean, it's when they, it says it's 14 ounces. Um, I almost felt like I could eat two of them, but... Uh, it, it's not a bad uh, little meal, uh, just to let you know. Um, somewhat similar to what, uh, I don't know if KFC still has it or not, but it's somewhat like on that uh, realm of uh, a fried chicken bowl. So, tried that. And then for a snack, um, I went with the Snickers ice cream. Um, not bad. So, it's my shopping and uh, talking, so... I'm going to try to go into serious talk here. Um, kind of did a little research on some numbers. Um, so, well, let's start with, uh, I guess, I'll start on the drug side of things. Um, so back in 2020, uh, had approximately 92,000 overdoses. Um, of that, 68,000 was opioid deaths. Um, so... It just shows uh, the number of uh, deaths from opioids, um, not uh, illegal narcotics, I guess. Uh, for uh, drug alcohol, phone number 1-800-662-4357 and 1-800-662, and then it's help, 4357. So if you're looking for assistance on that. Um, I really wish I could say, you know, what's uh, signs or how to go about treating it. I uh, just hope uh, with the amount of drugs that come into this country, um, I don't know. I feel that's a number that, and it, it shows in a chart that it's going up. It isn't something that's stabilized. Um, it just shows going up. So let you know that. And then uh, next, uh, suicide. Um, the one thing I noticed is there's a two-year decline, so it's going down a little bit. Um, it's the 12th cause of death, um, 2020 numbers again, uh, 45,979 deaths caused by suicide, and approximately a million 200,000 uh, suicide attempts, or it said a million 20, I guess a million 20,000. So suicides attempts in 2020. Um, I just feel as if you know somebody that doesn't seem like they're the same or they're, you know, kind of keeping themselves where they're not what they used to be, just give a reach out and just show a little caring maybe. Um, and then the phone number for uh, suicide prevention, 1-800-273-8255. 
Um, I, I hope the decline continues. It's, you know, at least a positive, um, something that's uh, nice to see, uh, something going down that's a negative story. Um, but, uh, yeah, there's people out there that just uh, don't know. And I, I, talking to people, um, I don't know, so, you know, with everything going on, and I, I go with the drugs and the um, suicides. Um, today's world is just so much different um, with social media, um, the internet, people, uh, you know, what they read. I mean, you go out there and even if you're stuck, you know, you're like, you search certain things. If you try to go a little offbeat, there is some stuff out there that I could see some people that your, their minds just don't click with it or get like a negative pushback or something like that. But it's something that brings them down. So lot of information out there um, so I would again wish things better um, not no expert um, but I, I just feel like it's a topic that just gets its little nationwide um, talk and then I don't know I, I, I hope you know I mean I do YouTube videos and maybe YouTube and I don't know it is something that it isn't the left and the right. Um, I hope everybody understands that people need help. Um, and uh, again, I'm trying to, you know, it's what's the answer I have? I mean, if you can kind of get the drug situation a little bit out of, out of the country and uh, get that away, that, that's gonna help with both issues a little. Um, not saying it's the answer, but again, um, what the heck did I, I watched the other night, um, oh, uh, Death Wish for the Crackdown, and basically, uh, Charles Bronson, the vigilante, uh, ends up getting in a drug war kind of thing, trying to clean up things, but there's even a story in there that it, it, there's a line where a reporter is trying to do a story on it because her daughter dies. And um, basically it's like, nobody cares. It's like, everybody's doing it. And it's like, yeah, but you're doing, you know, illegal drugs or something that you shouldn't be doing, pro you're, not, you're not using properly. Um, I hope people realize that you need to care. Um, it just... I, I, again, I, I hope uh, everybody, you know, I know this video ain't going cyber or anything like that, but uh, it's just something that, you know, the people that listen, maybe they they can pass it along or say something. Um, the phone number is again, 1-800-662-4357 for uh, drug and alcohol, and then 1-800-273-8255 for uh, suicide. So that is my uh, talk in regards to drugs and suicide. Um, I hope everybody does well and uh, I keep uh, doing what you can. So thanks and um, have a great day.